Hello, everyone, and happy Listen First Friday. I'm Ken Fudernick, host and founder of an award-winning podcast called Courageous Conversations about our schools. Our purpose is to bridge the widening and often toxic divides that are wreaking havoc on our schools. We're very excited about our latest three-part series called Midi Rising, a city unites and diffuses a school culture war. It's about the unusual moves a black superintendent from Middletown, Ohio makes in response to some angry parents who make their voices heard at a school board meeting. The powerful lessons from this story can be applied anywhere high conflict is getting in the way. My name is Marlon Stiles. I was a proud superintendent in Middletown City School District in Southwest Ohio. Marlon started off here in his first two or three years, he was a rock star. I mean, he, everybody loved him. But at a school board meeting shortly after the beginning of the school year, he had a, a flare up of resistance. I watched so many board meetings and other school districts across the country where this inappropriate behavior was starting to surface. Welcome everyone to our meeting for Monday, August 23rd. I knew it was coming. Would you mind standing for the Pledge of Allegiance? There was tension in the room. You could feel the emotion in the room. There were police officers there. It gave the sense that one could expect violence. I think it is 100% wrong to force the kids to wear masks. Mr. Stiles and the school board, this woke CRT ideology is not education. It's indoctrination. The one thing I thought in my head that night as they were speaking was how do we not become the fire? More importantly, how do we reach out to the community to come together so we can keep the focus on what we're trying to do for kids? We invite you to listen to the full story on your favorite podcast platform or on schoolconversations.org. It's a testament to what communities can achieve when they unite around a shared purpose. It's also a powerful reminder that when people listen first, when they resist the temptation to fight back against their critics, they can often pave the way for unity and healthy conflict. Please help us amplify this story by sharing it through your social media networks. We also have a media kit on our website to help you do that. Together, we can provide credible hope for communities across the country looking for a way out of toxic conflict. Bye, everyone.